so I forgot to film an intro for this video, um, but basically this is a look inspired by one of my favorite fall drinks, and it's the pumpkin spice latte from Starbucks. Um, so I hope you enjoy this, and maybe you can try it out for Thanksgiving or anytime during the fall. So I started out by priming my eye with Urban Decay Primer Potion. The color is Eden. Next, I'm taking a Maybelline Color Tattoo. The color is Fierce and Tangy. I'm gonna just apply that as a base. Um, this can be a little bit thick, so make sure you smooth it out if you decide to use this as a base too. Next, I'm taking this rusty orange color um, from a Lorette palette. And I'm just going to apply that all over my lid. Starting out in patting motions, and then I'll blend out around the edges. And I just keep doing that until I get my desired intensity. Next, I'm taking full brush, I'm sorry, from the um, Call Me Bubbles palette by MAC and it's a deeper rust color. Um, if you look at this one, it does have a um, have tones of red and tones of orange in it. It's like a true rust color, it's very pretty. And I'm just applying that in the crease um, and as a transition color. So again, I'm building up to my desired intensity and I'm going to form a V shape at the corner of my eye. And you want to make sure that you blend out the edges so that there's a smooth transition. Next, I'm going into Twig, and that is by Stila. And it is a brown, a reddish brown color. And then I'm using that just to deepen my crease. So I'm only putting that in between the rust and the orangey bronze color. And I'm just going to use that to deepen and further define my crease. Now I'm going into Call Me Bubbles, and that's again in the MAC Call Me Bubbles palette. And I'm just going to be using that as a brow highlight. Next I'm taking Fresh Daily, which is a uh, shimmery orange color um, with, it kind of is a gold orange color. I'm just going to use that to brighten up my inner corner. Now I'm gonna go back into brush and just lightly line my lower lash line. You don't wanna to put too much of this color because it does have that red undertone, so like you don't wanna look sick. <laughs> then I'm taking Fresh Daily and I'm doing the same thing. Now I'm taking my Milani Liquify Eyeliner and I'm just going to line my upper uh, lash line. For mascara, I'm using the Falsies by Maybelline. I'm just going to apply um, a couple coats of that to my top lashes and then just like a, a coat to the bottom lashes as well. If you like to wear false lashes, um, you can go ahead and apply those as well. So for foundation, today I'm using the L'Oreal True Match Mumi and I do about a pump and a half using a flat top kabuki brush. And first I kind of just dipple that on my face and then I'll blend it out um, and all together. And if you um, try this foundation, it's very liquidy so it's very easy to blend. You don't need very much of it. Now I'm taking my Studio Finish Concealer by MAC, the color's NC45. I'm just gonna use that to 
cover the dark circles under my eyes. And when you apply concealer on the eye, under the eyes, make sure you pat and don't rub. Um, because if you rub, it just kind of takes the concealer off. If you pat, it pats it in. I'm going to set that concealer using my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. The color is dark. For the brows, I'm using my Milani Brow Pencil. Uh, which is a new product for me that I've really been liking. So first I like to comb out my brows and then I just fill in on the areas where I think I need a little bit of help. Do a final brush through just to make sure that the pencil is blended into my brows to make it look more natural. Next, I'm taking my bronzer and I'm using the CoverGirl Queen Collection Bronzer. The color is Ebony Bronze. I'm just going to use that to add some color back to my face. Just putting in the hollows of my cheekbones and then around the perimeters of my face. by NARS and it's just a pinky peach blush. For my highlight today I'm using Gold Deposit by MAC. I'm just going to apply that to the uppermost parts of my cheekbones. Now you want to be kind of light handed with this um, because if you overdo it you can kind of look like a disco ball. <laughs> For the lips, I'm using a lipstick from Sephora. I um, don't know the color right off hand, but I'll be sure to put it in the box down below. It doesn't have a name, so I'll just list the number and all down below. Uh, make sure you check these out because right now they're on sale for $3. Last minute, I realized that I forgot to line my <laughs> my waterline, so I went back with the Milani Liquify pencil again just to finish that up. I already done the other eye, and that's it. That's the finished look. I hope you enjoyed it, um, and I hope you decide to give it a try. Bye.